All right, this is what we got on tap today. We've got Champions League Atlanta to kick the stream off. And then we've got Rin, Metz, Strasbourg, Leverkusen, Lorient. And then we enter into a bit of a winter break. All right. Kovashevich, Ramsey, Alexov, Kirodia, Montiel. Uh, Bravo, Martin, Zendala, Sage, Shelderup, Schumacher. We'll see what kind of press they're trying to put on. Because they're in a 4-2-3-1. Their press could cause us problems. But it's Champions League time, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. We have played four Champions League matches. We won the first one. We have lost the next three, each by one goal. But that was Arsenal at home. Road matches against Sociedad in Leipzig. We know we are at home. Come on, Montiel. I like the fluid running. I like that pass. Oh, Ramsey, you've got to get that ball somewhere else. Martins. If he'd scored that, I would have done a backflip out the window. That's all right. Kierodia, Bravo. Just keep it with the center backs. They don't have the men to press this. Good. Ramsey. Again with the cut in. Like, what do... Oh, it worked, though! Goal! Come on, baby! Oh, we're off and running now! Oh, Montiel, good God, man. How do you get beat twice that bad? We're making changes. We're going to go for it. Credit to them. Barbecued my whole team on the way up the field. That was a frustrating goal. But we want the win. We're going for it, chat. I can just tell that was a pass that if I'd seen the entire thing, I'd be very frustrated by it. Oh, nice, Martins. Kierodia, you're freak. Wow. We just bottled it again. We have lost four consecutive Champions League league stage matches by one goal. Uh, in this one, we just completely handed it away because we were just the better team for 70 minutes. I That second goal, I don't even have an explanation for that. Kirodi is a really good ball-playing center back. They had two shots in the last 30 minutes of the game, uh, and we just handed them two tap-ins to go from winning to losing. Uh, that That's just brutal. Just let points get away, and now we, you know, that win would have put us back in the top 24, but now we're sitting uh, five matches played on three points in uh, Champions League, so. Uh, we've been in St. Etienne now that we're in our third year, and apparently when you get to your third year, you can receive offers from clubs. We've been offered interviews with, I mean, Monaco have offered us a job interview, but I don't really see the appeal of that over what we're doing right now. Monaco finished in sixth, which means they're in the Europa League, and they are... Uh, well, they're at least doing something in it. They're in 20th. I'm going to decline the job interview. I'm happy to stay uh, here. We finished above Monaco in the league last season. We're above them in the league this season. We're in a better European competition. They have a half-star rep on us. Um, but they don't, if I remember look, last time we looked at it, they don't have a lot more money than we do either. I got it. Shepo Mavunla. This is a big-time signing right here. This kid's the bee's knees, and we need him. Because he is not in the South African national team yet, but he's a very good striker, and we're signing him for half a million. So, Shepo Mavunla, I continue to bring in that South African influence. Okay. Deep breath. Ready to rock and roll. Missing four guys that are first-team players at AFCON right now, so our rotations are a little tight, but we're going to come into this match, try and play very reasonably. He won the way. Oh, don't like it. Good save. What is he? How do you not save that? My God. Ecolmier. Shelter up again. Shelly. Shelly. Oh, it has to be. Thank you. And hmm, let's see. Shelter up. Oh, my goodness. Schumacher. Oh! 
Dang it, brother! All right, I'm gonna go very attacking. Just for a couple minutes. Just for a couple minutes. Bro! We were so much... Oh, no, that's not it. We were so much better than them. Oh, that sucks. Couple of results that, uh, you know, so far today, a couple of results that haven't been reflective of the true flow of the match, I would say. You know, football manager and uh, those pulling the strings, the football manager gods, if they wanted to make, if they wanted to change that, I would be, I would be open to it. If they, if they, if they wanted to make this fair. Oh, we need to find a way to create more clear cut chances. All sod seek Rual deal. Hey, you start showing up with like 25, 30 million for Anthony Rual, we can have a conversation. So I've got four clone center backs. So if anyone, you know, I have three clone center backs and Stoyan Alexov, who I've decided is going to start every match for me at right center back now. If you hadn't noticed, that dude's getting a run. The teenager from uh, Serbia. All right. Uh, maybe this. I'm actually feeling this. We're on the road. Maybe a little tentative. I think Warren Bondo needs to get out on the field, so we'll play him instead of Shelter up, uh, at least initially here. Okay, we'll start. The reason I'm going to start this way is they're in a 4-4-2, which can be a little tricky for our, uh, our more offensive tactic to play against. So if we can grab an early goal, we're just going to stay in this all night. If we don't, we'll obviously shift forward towards the end of the match. But I think we're going to be able to defend them much better out of this tactic. Obviously, this is a better defensive tactic. All right, Kiarodia. There, uh, that's the sort of nonsense we want. Look at this. Look at, look. Oh, my. Yo. Martins is not a dribbler either, so I think he just caught them by surprise when he went after that. That's a deep-lying playmaker, too. <laughs> Love the highlights we're getting, boys. Oh, Indala. Great. To oh, Indala. He's feeling dangerous today. Ramsey, Torres. That is so good. That good that is so freaking good wow oh yes that's my ball just wait for the mistake schumacher I have to be some individual effort here okay indala still oh what a play by joel indala all right ecomier bondo that's annoying Schumacher did a great job of just throwing himself at that so that we could win the ball. And now it's Jan. Oh, and it's still Jan. That's the worst pass he could have made because Pedro Bravo couldn't have finished that if he was two feet in front of an empty net. This is the type of performance that we are really just out here hoping for, dude. I mean, this was complete control and dominance. A comfortable win. Use it, our squad. Shelter up didn't even start the match on the road. Mid-table opponent. Weren't even stomping a team in the relegation zone. That is a wonderful result. Dang it, Lyon won in the 96th minute against Claremont Foot. That's so annoying. So we're three points off of Champions League spots. Five points off of the, the safe Champions League group stage spot. Oh, my God, Rodier! What the hell? That's three straight. Bro, it's the whole year. Pulled groin in July. October, we kick it off with a twisted ankle. Tight calf into pulled ankle ligaments in November. December, we're rocking twisted ankle. You were like top five. Wonder kids in the world, okay? I would like for you to be able to play at some point this season. He will now be gone until after the winter break. Unbelievable. All right. Looking like we're going to have a pretty decent youth intake. Oh, nice. In our winding career, we have reached 300 games as a head coach. All right, we've got Leverkusen coming up right after this, homies. So we're going to maybe rotate a little bit. We know Stoyan Alexov has played a couple matches in a row, so we're going to go Rual Karodia. 
Please don't make me regret that. The Tottenham job just opened up. Well, my attention is now drawn. Perhaps we would like a move to Tottenham. We're going to start in this tactic because it worked so well last time, but um, we'll try it out as a positive tactic. You know, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Let's see. What have we done to the world? Oh, our new just spawned in to give the ball away in a better position for them. How, how do you manage to take the ball away and yet somehow give them a better spot than they were in before? Like, great interception. Franco. It's fun to have Vanden Bowman out there. I know he's getting old, but still do a job in the defensive midfield spots. Arnu. Oh, my goodness. That was pretty good. Shelder up! Yes! It's Andreas Shelder up! Do I smell consecutive clean sheets? <sighs> I think I do! How do you like that defense, board? We are now in fifth. A humble eight points off the top of the league with Sent at the end. Running away from the likes of Monaco and Marseille. Oh, this Spurs job. Right, 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 right. They're in 11th. They finished in sixth last year, which means they are in the Europa League group phase thing, and they are five played. So how much money you got? Yeah, that'll do. Holy hell, dude. They have so much money. 390 million is their payroll. They're at 11th in the Premier League. Uh, is there any other job we'd want? Villarreal is in 13th. Where'd they finish last year? Oh, hell yeah. Sixth. They're in Europa League, too. They're having a mare. Um, they are a four star club. Uh, you know. I we're, we're we can spend eighty two million and we're in the Champions League and we're definitely not in thirteenth in our league right now. I don't, I don't know if that's the job we'd want to move to. I'm gonna say no. And then Stuttgart's not in Europe at all, so that's not a job we want to move to either. Uh, that job's been up there a while. All right, the, 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 this this is the match, dude. This is the match where if we hang three points on this match, we can slip into that knockout round. If we don't, the next match is literally Liverpool away, and then we have Porto at home. This is the easiest of the three matches we have left. The bar right now is five points, so a win is an absolute must. Oh, if we win this match, it's going to be a really exciting final two matches. But we need to win. Oh, Sage is back, but he's tired. Okay, Stoyan Alexov steps in for Stefan Negru. Uh, right back's going to be Ramsey, obviously. We can do this, boys. We can do this. We have four one-goal losses in the Champions League. We need this three points right here. We need it now. Come on, boys. Come on. We need this. We need these three points. We've messed around enough. Santiago Montiel. Shelly. Torres! Oh, how does he save that? There you go, Montiel. My... It's every single match in the Champions League, bro. It's every single match in the Champions League we do something stupid. I mean, what is this? Uh, we we need two goals in all likelihood uh, for our Champions League future. So we're gonna get, we're gonna try and ambush them the same way we pulled this out in other matches. Um, we're gonna shift into this position. Uh, eyes on potential substitutions early in the second half. Obviously, here we go. Sforza. Oh my goodness, Bondo! Immediate impact from the subs! 
Warren Bondo to Lorenzo Sage. Thank goodness Mozambique got knocked out of AFCON. Oh, baby, let's go. We're pushing. We're pushing for the win. We're pushing for the win. All right, I'm going all out for it. I'm going all out for it. We're, we're... we're oh, dang it. The change was up in the top left for a couple of secs there. Uh, a couple of seconds. Okay. We have to... Uh, we need to win. We need it. So you need to anchor. You need to stay back. You can't get... You can't float too far forward. Shift! Uh, we just got that uh, shift in. Good goalkeeping. All right. We got our change in. We're absolutely sending it for the dub. Oh, my goodness, Alexov. What a touch. Bondo flying in. Sage is there. This could actually be it. Remember, we've got, like, everybody up. He's off. He's so off. Guys, we're just wasting time here. Come on. Every, like, my grandmother knows that's offside. And she doesn't even know the rule. You just, like, I mean, good God, man. My entire team is miles off. I want one Champions League game without us making an absolutely diabolical mistake. Without us making an absolutely absurd mistake, dude. I mean, God. USA is fourth in the world rankings. We're ahead of Italy, Argentina, Spain, Germany, Belgium, Uruguay, Portugal. Way ahead of Mexico. This is awesome. I'm trying to catch England in the world rankings right now. Coaching the U.S. national team seems to be going very well. Valencien goalkeeper Daniel Lesoa. That is a very good goalkeeper. We're signing him. We're signing him tomorrow. Hello, Tottenham. How are you doing, Tottenham? All right, hi, Daniel. I've heard great things. Can you ease your concerns about having never managed in the country? I've experienced in various other countries. I think I could get us into Europa League, yeah. The transfer budget is $68 million. Um, I'm okay with that. Payroll, but that's a little lower than you advertised, Daniel. Still way more than what I have. I'm happy to work with that. That would be a challenge. That would be a really serious challenge. Oh, Villarreal have actually reached out to us, which is interesting because we, um, we're we just looking at them and thinking, wow, that's... But, you know, they're... Uh, what is that? Six points out of fifth place. I'll see what kind of transfer budget they have. I'll do the interview. If you're that interested in me, Jose, I'll do the interview. Hi. I agree. I don't know if we'd be able to put... Yeah, Transfer budget is six million. Uh, I, we, I would need a much bigger transfer budget. I like that your wage budget is higher than what we initially told me. But in order to take over, I'd need a much bigger transfer budget. I'll just let them know. If they show up with like 40 million, maybe. But we just got to keep trying to win. This is Lorient. This is a match that we should be able to win pretty easily. You know, I'm actually liking starting matches in this formation and then, like, expanding out if I want to, but we'll start positive. I'll up the tempo by one, but, like, we'll start positive and just play out of this formation, and that's been really nice for us. Oh, Mocha Wena's back! Oh, yes! That means South Africa got knocked out. Well, that's not good for them, but good for me. Okay, we're ready. Uh, they're sending Valentin Rongier up and Romain Perrault. Okay, guys, that's uh, those are the decisions today. Everybody's feeling good. Happy to have Cabello Mokowina back in the team. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Bad Boy wasn't on the South Africa AFCON team. He did play in some World Cup qualifiers, but he was not on the AFCON team. It was just uh, Mocha Wena and Bangani Kamala. Dude.
That was rough, but we, fortunately, we planned on scoring multiple goals in this match anyways. We still have a while to do it. Okay, guys. All right. You already know what I'm going to say, so do I even need to say it? All right, you idiots. We are keeping the ball in that half of the field, so help me. We are keeping that ball in that half of the field. You got it? Four subs. Uber aggressive setup. We are keeping that ball in that half of the field. These guys suck, and we are putting, you know, I don't care if they score. We're scoring four goals in this half. Dude, what is that? Apparently, it isn't going to count because of something weird, but, like, oh, come on. What a match. Uh, so this is offside on the on that pass. Yeah, that is off. Okay. Thank goodness. Dude, I'm going to move this stream to comedy. This is insane. I've never gone for it that early in a match, and somehow the entire second half playing a tactic that looks like suicide is just like not nobody scored in the entire second half with me doing this. Not even them. Nothing is happening. That should be impossible. Yeah, it's cool, man. Let it go out. You're on a 6.2. Not like you've, you've already contributed so much to the team today. Just let it roll. I am livid. I am absolutely livid. I'm tired of this team, dude. Get me out of here. I'm out. I'm done. I'm tired of this friggin' team. I don't know what's going on, but I'm tired of this team. I'll leave. I'm done. We're in seventh. I don't know how. I pulled a magic trick. It's one of the best managerial jobs of my life to get this team this far. One of the best managerial jobs of my life to get this team this far. Are you kidding me? That third place finish last year? Ridiculous. Well, that sucks. Send him to a specialist. Recall him from loan. He's not going to play the rest of the year. Well, that's Yanni's. He still doesn't like us. Well, Senor, at least, he likes us. I think he might actually play in the first team this year, depending on what happens, so no. He has a chance to be our number two goalkeeper and maybe even push for number one goalkeeper. Oh my God, we got the Tottenham job. That's it. We just got it. They saw me bottle that last match and they were like, yo, let me tell you. This is, a, this is weird, chat. This is weird. I've been at St. Etienne for 101 matches. We guided them from the second division to a Champions League finish last year. But there's been a real malaise over the team this year. There's been an ineffectualness in the team. I'm obviously partly responsible. I mean, I built this team. Um, but it, it hasn't quite clicked the way we hoped this season, even though we just went on a really good run in the league. We ended it with a stupid loss at Lorient that obviously tilted me. This is a brave new frontier. We're about to jump into a position where we're expected to finish in the top six and we're expected to win the Europa League. And if we don't do that, we're probably fired. But it's such a good opportunity that I would say we have to take it. Now, once they ask for coaching changes, chat, that means you've got the job. And we have been offered the job by Tottenham. Oh, my. I mean, nobody in their right mind would turn this down. You know how much I'm making right now? I'm making $700,000 a year. They're offering me $7 million a year to coach the team. I'm replacing Zinedine Zidane, dude. What? Newcastle brought him out of retirement for two years, then he went to Tottenham. Yeah, all right. 
Sick. Have they won a trophy? Have they won? Yes! Oh my god, they won the Prem! No, they didn't. Why does it say that they did? That's runners. That's third place. I can't read. That's third place. It's 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 third place. They still have not won a trophy since 2008. It's the same situation as real life, and we are stepping in. Say a, say a goodbye to the squad. We, had, you know, we didn't win any trophies with Saint at the end, but we took a club from the second division to Champions League qualification in a two-year span. Obviously, Champions League didn't go the way we wanted. That mem Wait, can I cancel that transfer? Well, hold on just a second here. This is our goalkeeper. I can say our now because we're, we're going to Tottenham. It's Kelleher. Not like he's that much better. That is not a great keeper, actually. Who's the other guy? Oh, Vicario. It should be Vicario, right? Surely it's Guglielmo. Nah, well, let St. Etienne take it. We bid adieu to this team, and of course, I'd be remiss. I would be remiss if we did not say a heartfelt goodbye to a man that has since broken into the South African national team, Lala Mela Bad Boy, who we have brought to Europe, who is making hay in Europe. A saint of football manager, an elite wonder kid of epic proportions saint bad boy it's time to lead tottenham hotspur to glory so we have i don't even know a haroldson so kulazevsky jonathan david eves basuma javi guerrera uh do you have rico lewis romero ignacio uh, Inacio is a good pickup. Mickey Vandeven and Vicario. Guys are loaned out uh, to various clubs. That's okay. Shannon takes charge of Tottenham. At just 33 years of old, a 33 years old Zealand Shannon has risen from the second division of South Africa. We have, yep, we've climbed all the way. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> Tottenham, you then take preview. Pretty good. All right. So they just got knocked out in the quarterfinal of the EFL Cup, which sucks on pins to Brentford. Um, FA Cup obviously hadn't kicked off. In Europa League league phase, the team's in a great spot with Austria, Vienna, and Bonnik Ostrava to play at the end of January. So we get um, Arsenal away. <laughs> Our first match is Arsenal away. Shut up, dude. Compensation's a little high, but he's fine. When you look at that, chat, we have hired our entire coaching... Well, not the entire coaching staff. Our set-piece coach is still in place. All right, squad, who's on the team? Star players are Dejan Kulazewski. Obviously a really, really, really good player. Other stars, Rico Lewis. Yeah, I think we can uh, we can do some great things with him there. And Bellarmino Seca. This guy's a regen. Yeah. How are you in an 11th with this dude running around? Are you kidding me? is a beast he is an unstoppable tidal wave of awesomeness tries killer balls off and plays one twos with his brilliant passing and off ball movement he is a menace at the number 10 clear menace at 10 or we could play him center with an attack and he can make something happen from there like a 4-3-3 three, three. that's fun that's a lot of fun Santiago Jimenez who's a striker Holy hell, dude. We need a striker. This dude's like, this dude would have been at home on my freaking St. Etienne team. We need a Premier League striker. God, you're paying him $17 million. No wonder you're in a terrible spot. You're paying that guy $17 million? Holy hell. That's got to be one of the biggest wages on the team. 
He only just signed, dude, who, yeah, dang it, Zinedine! Zidane, dude, what the hell? I guess we're just eating that wage. Um, okay, tactic. We don't have a striker and we don't have wingers. Anybody have a tactic that doesn't use either of those? I gotta go to the bathroom, you guys figure that out. The 4150. All right. So that's insane, obviously. This is a bad, just insane tactic, right? But, 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 but it might just work. So that's tactic number one. I'm also going to run a more basic, more high, like higher level 4231. That was the other thing we were thinking about. We're going to start the Tottenham match in that other tactic. We will play out from the back because I think we have a really good setup for playing out from the back, and I love our midfielders. So we've got that. We've got this. And then we're going to create a third tactic, which is... Well, you're, you're, you've seen this before. If you've watched the stream, you've seen what I'm about to do before. Bring it back, baby. Play the classics. What are we rioting for? Czech youth? Ah, yes, okay. I just love that this guy has two caps for Argentina, and he's just not um, up in the first team. That's power move right there. How about the striker? Be surprisingly good. He's not even going on an intensive language course. The poor guy doesn't even speak English. Help him. Oh, and Arsenal's in first, bro. This is going to be a tough match. Okay. Oh, it is going to be a tough match. They are in first place. Saint Etienne did complete the signing of Daniel Lesur. All right, I've been at the job for a day. Let's see what we got. <laughs> I just say our net debt was a billion dollars because of the new stadium. That is so insanely high. Sick. Uh, all right. Away against Arsenal, chat. It's very easy. I don't know what the issue is. I don't even have a staff. There's like no coaching staff on the bench for this, dude. We do not even have a staff. All right. Vicario, Lewis, Romero, Inacio, Vandevin, Basuma, Haroldson, Bentoncourt, Javi Guerra, Seca, Kulazevsky. First match. Okay. First match to Tottenham. Yeah, Romero, there you go. Get nasty in there. Get physical. Hit these dudes. The American in charge of Tottenham taking over for Zinedine Zidane on the road at league-leading Arsenal. Come on, you Spurs! Taking over a team in 11th on the road against the best team in the league. Hell yeah, we take that. All right, Basuma. Kulisevsky, nice touch. Good pass. This is where we can make something happen. Rico with momentum. Oh my, no! Oh, it was blocked. Who got it? Zabarni, dang it. Ah, Eves, way to go. Come on, keep fighting. No, googly elmo, dear God. He contested it, so the guy missed the header, but holy smokes, my heart. Oh my, come on. Come on. Well, uh, of course, it's an end of match highlight. We all know that. It's the end of match highlight. Come on! I thought you guys were leading the league! What is this? 
I thought you guys were the big bad leaders of the league. What was that? I would walk around the entire stadium talking trash after that. We just played the most anti-game of all time to get a nil-nil. That's what I'm talking about. I had a day. We had a day. We had a day to set that up. And we shut them down. Hell yeah, boys.